Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So happy new year. It's a whole new year. It's like crazy to think about. I feel like 2021 went like so fast. It's really crazy. I just remember being a kid and thinking like a year was like so long. And now that I'm an adult, it just like next thing you know, you know, you look around and it's a, a new year. And I also wanted to share a really big announcement before I kind of get into that. And that is that I'm taking clients. So I've kind of talked about it in some of my previous videos about me being a certified life coach. I got certified through IPEC earlier this year and I'm finally at a place where I can start taking clients on consistently. So I'm super excited about that. If you guys have ever thought about coaching, kind of want to find out what coaching is about or just want to see what a session is about, um, I will leave the discovery form uh, link down below. I am currently only working with women. Sorry, fellas, but um, that's my target niche is women. And the theme and like the niche that I'm kind of going towards is helping women learn how to start living their lives for themselves and not for other people and really stepping into their authentic selves and just kind of refining themselves and being okay with who they are. So if you're interested in any of that, just click the link down below. And yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And now let's get into the video. So it's 2022. It's a fresh start, new beginning. And I know a lot of us are really wanting to change things in our lives that we're not happy with or satisfied with. And we're trying to, you know, new year, new me, reinvent ourselves. And when I'm talking about reinventing ourselves, like in the New Year's resolutions and things like that, for this specific video, I'm not so much talking about the actual goal. I'm talking about becoming the person that you need to be to accomplish that goal or that habit or that routine or whatever it may be. Because I really think that when I think about my new year, I like to think about it as like, who is the person that I'm trying to become? And what type of goals is that person accomplishing and kind of embodying that? The first thing you need to do is get clear on what you want, gain some clarity. If you can journal about it or write it down, that helps a lot better. So it's not just kind of stuck in your head, write it down. It makes the world of a difference when you get everything out of your head and onto a piece of paper so you can literally see it and physically read it and just like go back to it. Like it's the most helpful thing or you could type it up whatever if you're a digital person like do what you need to do to get get it out from your head and onto something so that you can physically see it so get clear on what it is that you want i really recommend spending some time alone and figuring out like what do i really want not what your mom and dad want you to do not what your friends tell you you're good at so you should do that not what society is telling you like literally sit down and think about what do I want my life to look like this year? What kind of people do I have around me? What mindset do I have? What personality traits have I adopted? What things am I trying to accomplish? Like figure out exactly what it is that you want your life to look like this year specifically and really make sure it's what you want and not what the influence of those around you is having you say. And then you have to figure out your why. Why are you doing this? Why do you want this? What is this going to do for you? Like why specifically right now in this moment are you wanting to change this part of you or change the or change your life in whatever capacity that you're wanting to change it to. Like why right now? And make it compelling and make sure it's not for external things. It's why do you want this? Like it has to be really, it has to be really compelling because when times get tough, because change is really hard, it's really hard to change who you are as a person. Then when those times get tough, you have something to look back on and remind yourself like, okay, this is why I'm doing this. So it's really important to figure out why, what your why is, what's the reasoning for you wanting to do this right now. The third thing you're gonna do is to figure out a plan of action. Look at the big picture goal and then see, okay, this is where I'm starting. This is where I'm ending. I have all of these ideas from the people that I follow that have been successful at this and just kind of break it down into however much time you're trying to give yourself. So figure out what do I do on a day? What do I need to do on a daily basis? What do I need to do on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, um, on a quarterly basis, like depending on how long you want to give yourself to achieve this thing or have this thing be a part of you, just break it down into smaller and smaller 
bite-sized pieces because Listen, when it comes to New Year's resolutions, a lot of the times the reason we're not successful is because we create these unrealistic expectations of where we want to be by a certain time frame. It's like, you know, uh, people wanting to start a workout regimen. I think that's like the number one thing. They want to go from couch potato to athlete within one week and see all of the difference in the world. And it just doesn't work that way. The brain does not work that way. It has a system in place of how it thinks how it wants to feel, how it sees the world, you know, it would much rather stay the same and not have to do any heavy lifting or any heavy work in, in regards to like thinking or doing something different or new. It would rather just do that so that way, or stay the same so that way when it comes to other things, like it has energy to do that. It's not like exhausting itself all day you know, doing different things every single day. Like your brain creates habits and systems and it wants to stay that way. So when you change that e equilibrium of like, okay, we're doing something com completely different, it has to be so subtle because if not, the brain's gonna be like, I don't wanna do that. Like once that motivation is gone, it's gonna be like, okay, we're not doing that. Like that was fun while it lasted, but let's go back to how we used to do things. Like think about, all the people that are going really hard in the gym and then they're so sore that they can't even walk and they're just like screw this like i don't want to do this let me go back to being comfortable whereas if they took baby steps and just been like okay i'm gonna start working out 10 minutes a day to us it seems so silly because it's like i want to be there already you know i want to have the thing already but what's what's good putting all of this effort in if you're just going to give up before you can even get to where you want to be so I really think baby steps are crucial. Um, what's that saying? Um, Rome wasn't built in a day. Or or the Great Wall of China, you know? How did they build it? Brick by brick. It's like it all starts so small and it's the small little changes that we do daily, weekly, on a monthly basis that help build the big change that we're wanting to see. It, where it's become such a part of us that we don't even like remember when the change happened, it just did. And once you realize how simple the mind works, you can really figure out how to work with it so that way it's not such a shock for it when you're doing something new or something different. You know, just starting small. So after you create a plan, you have to check in and see what it is that's working and what it is that's not and have those constant reminders daily on a daily basis because if you just write it down and then never look at it again, it's probably not gonna happen. You have to check in and see like, okay, I tried this this week. I really enjoyed it. I really didn't enjoy it. Okay, what can I do next week? Like you have to evaluate the progress that you make and you have to see what works for you and what doesn't. Sometimes the things that you try aren't always going to work out. So you have to experiment and be flexible and figure out like what type of things can get in the way of you accomplishing the goals. And then once you know what things could get in the way, figure out a plan of action to okay, if this comes up, like, what can I do to continue on with my progress? Like, it's about figuring out what works. What time of day do you have the most energy to do the thing that you want to do? What time of day do you have the least energy? When do you feel like you have most of your motivation? Like, just figuring out, experimenting what things work and what things don't, and then just keep moving forward. So I want to share with you guys a couple examples that I've done that one was more of a tangible thing where I could literally physically see the goal being completed and happening and done where, and then the other one is more of like, uh, more of a feeling, more of a becoming and a being. The first example was my debt payoff journey, getting rid of all of my credit card debt. Because listen, I, I know I'm not the only one. You know, I came from a household, single parent household, wasn't taught about credit, wasn't taught about anything in regards to my fin finances really. So when I turned 18 and I can open up my first credit card, that's exactly what I did. And what do people who aren't taught about finances do they spend money okay so i was racking up all kinds of credit card debt all through college recklessly you know just like oh i'll pay it back later i'll pay it back later and never got around to it and i want to say from when i was 18 to i think about the age of 25 is when i really started taking a look at my finances and being like oh my god i'm paying a lot of interest every year by not paying off this credit card debt 
So I had almost $10,000 of credit card debt. And then also when I first moved here, I was not very making very much money. Like I literally took the first job that would take me and I just started to work. So I really was living paycheck to paycheck a lot of the time and I was not able to make more than the minimum payment on my cards. So I had to get really serious with my debt payoff journey. I got clarity. I was like, I don't want to be paying this company interest on money like i need to get rid of this debt like it's causing me stress because i have numerous cards that have different minimum payments due and it was just overwhelming for me so i had to figure out my why like why did i want to do this and it was because i didn't want the stress anymore i didn't want to be worrying about having all of these minimum payments like i was over it i was like i don't need to be paying someone extra just because i wasn't patient enough and wanted it now so that was, I got clarity on what I wanted and I figured out my why. And then I had to look at what are people doing who are really good with their finances. I started watching videos on YouTube and doing research, watching what other people were doing. I found about, out about the envelope method and sinking funds from Dave Ramsey. And I watched different girls doing the cash envelope stuffing every or bi-weekly. I created a list of all of my expenses that I had and how much money I had left over after that and you know any extra money went towards paying off my credit cards i had to start thinking like someone that didn't have this debt that was smart with their money in what ways can i save expenses like i don't need all those memberships you know netflix and all of that like i don't need that um what else um, that meant eating out less. You know, I, I started meal prepping in college because I wanted to be healthy, but really I found out it saved me a lot of money. So every single week I meal prepped and that meant sacrificing. You know, I, I didn't buy myself the things that I wanted all of the time. I didn't get my nails done like I wanted to. Like there were certain things that I had to cut out of my life and sacrifice. There was also times where I worked two jobs where I was working weekends part-time and then having a full-time job and whatever extra money I had, I paid off that debt. And then I had to do bi-weekly check-ins because I got paid bi-weekly. So there was just a lot of little things that I had to do to pay off all of my debt but i got rid of all of that credit card debt and it was such an amazing feeling the second example i have for you guys is more of a becoming type of person um you kind of they kind of go hand in hand with the two with the tangible and intangible one because in order to accomplish the tangible goal you kind of have to become the person that does the thing um Whereas the becoming goal, you're just focusing on becoming and doing the thing. So they kind of go hand in hand, but I just wanted to give this example as well. So one of my goals for 2021 is stepping more into my feminine energy. And I had a really great coaching session in regards to this. And I realized that I put so much of my self-worth and so much of my value in accomplishing things and always being productive and always being busy. And I could be not really necessarily needing to have this done, but I constantly needed to be busy. And if I wasn't doing something that was productive, like in my mind, I was like beating myself up for it. So my goal was to be okay with doing less and not putting so much value in always always accomplishing my why for that was because i was getting burnt out like you guys heard before i was working two jobs there was a point where i was doing youtube videos and working out five days a week and i was just going 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 and i got burnt out and i think 2020 was with covid and everything kind of slowed me down but i still felt like i needed to be doing things so for 2021 i just basically was like i'm letting go like of that like constantly needing to achieve i was like i just need a mental break and whatever i do this year whatever i accomplish this year whatever i have going on like I don't want it to be forced or me feeling like I have to do something in order for or accomplish something in order for me to feel worthy or valuable, if that makes sense. And yeah, it was really hard. I had a, a lot of unlearning to do, but I stuck with it. And I 
am so happy that I did because at the end of last year when I started doing my um my videos again it was because I wanted to I wanted to do it it's just changed who I am as a person like I don't I feel like I have a good balance between the two now with getting things done and just chilling. And now I'm more intentional with my time because I realize that I don't need to do busy work. I want to do the things that will make the biggest difference and pick top three things and focus on those and get done what I can. And if not, then it's on to the next day and it's okay. But some of the things I had to do in regards to this, because when you think about something that's not tangible and more of becoming, it's a little bit harder to figure figuring that out. So when it all came down to it, I had to learn really what I was saying was I wanted to learn how to accept myself as I am, no matter what, like no matter how much I'm getting done, no matter how pretty I feel one day, no matter what is going on in my life, I have to be able to be okay with where I'm at. So I had to do a lot of mindset work. I had to do a lot of self worth work. I had to, um, um, I had to talk to myself different. I had to unlearn a lot of things because the reason that I put so much worth on accomplishing was because of how I was raised. So it was a lot of unlearning. And one thing that has really helped me is checking in with myself daily and doing my morning routine and giving myself that first hour or so to myself is what really, really helped me because in that I'm journaling, I'm saying affirmations, I'm meditating and I am expressing gratitude. I don't know if I already said that and I read. Um, all of those things really helped me with my mindset and those are some of, and that's how I was able to stick with the becoming example that I gave was doing that morning routine um, I wasn't as consistent as I would have liked as how I am now towards the beginning of the year but the latter part of the year I really really stuck with that and I really if you guys haven't watched that video I highly recommend checking it out and starting your own morning routine because mindset is going to be the biggest thing that's going to get you to where you want to be and also just taking action. You know, how I talk to myself was really important. You know, I choose to do this. Um, I am a person who does this, you know, giving myself the opportunity to see it as a choice and something that I'm doing for me rather than like, I don't want to do this or I have to do this. You know, that just kind of takes power away and makes it feel like more like a victim. Like you don't have a choice in this. Whereas the, the other two were, you know, I choose to, or I'm a person who it's just more uplifting and empowering. So saying things like I am a person who really cares about my health and I choose to make healthier choices when I'm eating, or I choose to be intentional with my time, making your mind just like a happier place to be. And a lot of it has to do with affirmations and talking to yourself because beating yourself up isn't gonna get you to where you wanna be. Because when we talk badly to ourselves, it's so much easier to fall victim to those words rather than when we empower ourselves, then we start to see it like, okay, this is a choice and I'm choosing to make this so that I can better myself. So affirmations and working on your mindset is something that's really important when you're trying to make a change in your life. Because if you don't believe you can do it, or you tell yourself you don't believe you can do it, then your mind is going to say, okay, we can't do it. But if you tell yourself, I can do this and I'm choosing to do this, to do this, the brain is like, okay, let's figure this out. You really have to believe in yourself and you really have to tell yourself that you are worthy of these things because I think a lot of the reason why we don't accomplish the things that we want is deep down we don't really feel like we're deserving of it or we're worthy of it. So really working on those things and a lot of that has to go, go towards how you talk to yourself. And you guys, make this a priority. Put Make yourself a priority. Like how long are you gonna stay the same? Like if you want this change but you won't do it because you're worrying about everybody else. Like make this the year where you put your goals and your wants and your needs first. And that's when my whole niche with coaching is, is like start living your life for yourself and not for other people. Like do the things that you want to do. Start showing up for yourself. Start believing in yourself. You're worthy. You're deserving of everything and anything that you want, you know, and it all comes down to taking responsibility for your life. And honestly, you guys, it really is a journey. 
because even though once you get to those tangible things, if you're using something that's tangible, like the person that you have to become in order for that thing to happen, like that changes you in itself. Just enjoy the process. It, it's tough. It's not easy to make a change, but it makes it so much harder if you are resisting and not really being kind to yourself along the way. You know, you're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. Some days you'll revert back to your old day ways. Some days you'll freaking kick ass. Like it's, it's a journey. Just enjoy the journey and just be gentle with yourself and assess your progress figuring out what you need to change, what you what you liked, whatever, and then just keep moving forward. That's really all you can do. Please make sure to like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel and turn on those bell notifications so you guys can see when I post. And I will see you guys in the next video.